A Detroit fire squad is remembering a hero tonight. The team at Engine 59 opens up about Sergeant Savid Johnson, who lost his life saving two girls from the Detroit River. CW50's Chris Walker takes us to the firehouse with the crew he called family. It's been a somber week at Fire Engine 59, a place where many memories were made with Detroit Fire Sergeant Savad Johnson. It's hard when, you know, you run on a rescue squad and you see a lot of death and destruction every day. Um, so we're used to that, but we're not used to seeing one of our own. It's here with his Squad 1 team where many laughs were shared and many hardships endured. I will always remember him saying, so what did we learn from this? Every situation, like we had a fire, something doesn't go exactly the way we want. As always, when we come back, what did you learn from that? What are we, what are we gonna take from that? What are we gonna do better next time? Sergeant Johnson's crew says he died just the way he lived, putting himself on the line to save another. Last Friday, while enjoying a day at Belle Isle Beach with his 10-year-old daughter, he heard a cry for help. And although he wasn't on the clock, he was certainly on the job. Well, I'll tell you about Savad. Um, he didn't wear it on his sleeve. Uh, if you met him off the job, you probably wouldn't even know he was a fireman. Um, he was just a true gentleman and a good person. And, uh, but when he got here to work um, and he put this uniform on, it was all business for him and he was serious about it. Sergeant Johnson managed to rescue three girls from the strong current, but lost his life in the powerful water. Well, I was there Friday night and Saturday, and uh, we'd expect nothing less from Sergeant Johnson. He was always on duty. Members from the Detroit Fire Department say Sergeant Johnson leaves behind a legacy of bravery, a true hero who will be sorely missed.